All right, y'all, let's jump right in. So I finally, finally, finally hydro dipped a tumbler. I purchased this tumbler from my local Everything's Still a Family Dollar in my community. It was about $3. It actually had a Halloween theme design on it, but the acetone took that straight off and uh, it made it all black. I use the uh, sandpaper to also get rid of some of the shiny coat that was present. It left a lot of little uh, scratch marks on the cup and I was hoping that that would not mess with my hydro dipping process. I took white paint and primer to spray the cup so that the colors in the hydro dipping process can stick to the cup much more better, allowing it to last so much longer and allowing the even smooth surface at home using spray paint. Rust-Oleum 2X paint and primer, blue and yellow. And I have my respirator, of course I have my gloves, my bucket and water. When they say do this outside, that is for a reason. Or in a well-ventilated area, you want that, you want that. I did it at home, I did have the window open, I did have the air or the fan on so that my goal was that the air would be, not the air, <laughs> that the spray would circulate and go outside of the window, but yeah, now, upon my serious. research, when you are spraying the spray paint into the bucket, you want to make sure your face, even if you were in a respirator, is not directly over the bucket. You want to have some distance. You also want to spray on top of each other to create some sort of design and pattern on the water in different areas around the bucket. So I don't have to stay in one place. You see, sometimes I'm in the middle, I'm on the side, I'm on the other side to create the design that I would like. I am not skilled at using a stera or popsicle stick to get this design. So I just rely on how I'm spraying it in the water. I had my respirator that I purchased from Amazon probably during the pandemic. And I'm very happy that I did that because the fumes are very toxic. So please wear your respirator. So excited, this is my first time using spray paint to hydro dip as i am dipping i am realizing that the areas of the cup that is still showing through and i mean large large areas and i'm hoping that i was able to get that on camera because there's certain points where i am off center but right there right there right there right there that big white spot there there is no hydro dipping design in that area and I wasn't feeling it. So of course I decided to hydro dip again. Don't forget to smash the like button. If you're getting something out of this video, let me know. So you'll see me dipping different parts of the cup back into the color mixture here, back into my hydro dipping bucket uh, to cover up some of those white spots. And some of the white spots are rather large and that is not what I intended to have. Now, whether that worked, no, I still had a lot of white space on my cup that is not covered by any color, and that was frustrating to me. I messed up, y'all. I messed up. You see you see that right there? You see how you see exactly where I re-dipped it again? There is a harsh line there, right, that tells you that she dipped again, and it is a hot mess. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I could have lived with the first time I dipped it, but I thought I could get it better. This is me trying to pull off all the paint globs of spray paint on the cup. Sometimes it gets a little stringy and I'm just trying to salvage what I can. Uh, uh, sometimes you have to leave well enough alone. It looks like a wrinkled old raisin or prune. I did not give up. I decided to dip for the what fourth time here. 
if you want to count those little dips I was doing previously uh, maybe the six seven time but this time I'm using easy marble marble paint I did not feel like dealing with the fumes that come from spray painting uh, for hydro dipping so I just remember what I had and I wasn't even sure if that was gonna work if you could you know hydro dip on top of uh, the spray paint using another I guess medium but I wasn't too mad now I did not have all the colors that I would have liked to have I did not have any white I did not have any red uh, when I looked up complementary colors to yellow and blue, I got red, purple, and of course I wanted to use a little yellow and blue um, in this dip as well, just to kind of not cover up the con total design and colors that I used previously. I'm just like, you know... The best thing that can happen that this experiment said it doesn't work and then I know, you know, what I will try again in the future or not try again, right? So the goal is to go for it. So the colors that I used, I used black and I really didn't mean to for this particular dip. Black, yellow, dark blue. I think I used two types of yellow from marble paint. <laughs> you see, I did not have one gloves this time around. I think I finally ran out of the gloves. So here we go. I'm trying to, and you know, I don't know how to use like the stera to make the design. It doesn't come out consistent all the time. So most of the time I just don't do it. So I want to make sure I get an even coverage all over the cup. So you know, this is me uh, talking myself into how I should dip that into the cup. I realized last time uh, I'm gonna make sure I'm able to go deeper and more on an angle and start turning once everything once the whole tumbler is in the cup once the tumbler is submerged in the water so compared to what it was I'm not mad I'm not mad. I am not mad. I am going to leave it. I will not be hydro dipping this tumbler again. That's it. That's it. I'm not going to do it again. I am not going to do it again. So if you learn anything from this video, do not hydro dip the item that you're dipping multiple times. I'm letting the excess water drip off. Forget to smash the like button if you're getting anything out of this video here. Yeah. So I'm going to start taking off the tape there that is uh, connected to the top part of the tumbler. I taped up that part so that none of the hydro dip gets on that area because that's the area where you know the liquids will pass you don't want to get any of that in your system as I'm taking the tape off um, I'm realizing that I did not have the tape around the cup evenly so the areas where uh, it's slanted <laughs> the design begins to slant towards the top of the tumbler but it's okay, but it is okay. I actually used the essential water bottle because I didn't have anything else that would fit inside uh, the opening of the cup and also give me a small little handle area that I can hold on to while turning. Some areas on the cup was still sticky. The bottom and just certain areas on the side, which is not as bad as my previous hydro dips were so that means I'm doing something good and I'm getting better at the process so here it is up close like I said I actually enjoy the process they're definitely like I mentioned before some things that I will do differently going forward I am loving this abstract design on my tumblr I'll see you 
over there at the next video. Do not forget to click the link. I'll be showing you other things that I have hydro dipped.